Now we're ready for the assembly. To start off our assembly, I'm gonna go into a standard IAM and create it. Uh, and we're gonna go through here and place in a couple things to get everything started off. I personally like starting with my base and then building everything off there, but whatever you're comfortable with is fine. It's really not that important. I just would not begin with the motor or the propeller since they're kind of special in this feature. Uh, so I'm gonna to go to the drop down here and go to place. And then I'm gonna be placing from my computer and I have everything saved in a maglev folder. So I'm gonna start off with my base. I'll hit open, click once. It will place it in there and then I can right click and hit okay. I'm also going to place in a couple other things. I'm gonna face in my phone and I'll place that over there. Right click and okay. And then I'm gonna go back to place and I need to place in four magnets. I'll get the motors and the other parts in a second. One, two, three, and four. I'll right click, hit okay. And we're set up and ready to go with the basic parts of what we need. I'm also gonna make sure that I can't move the base around because then I have a stable platform to build everything on. To do that, I'm gonna go into my browser and right click, and then I'm gonna go down to ground it. Uh, what that allows me to do is now I can't move that around, and if you take a look at the icon, it's changed to a little pin, so it's stuck in there. Everything else still moves, no problem, but that one is stuck in there. At this point, I'm gonna go in and constrain this bad boy down to get it, everything set and ready to go. Uh, and we really only need two constraints to get everything here set up. I need a mate and a flush. A mate glues things together and a flush lines them up so they're kind of even with each other. I'm gonna begin by uh, adding a mate from the top of the board to the bottom of our foam and applying that and then I'll flush the side here with the side there and then I'll apply that and the back to the back. Uh, so that is all set up nice and good, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna do the same process with the magnets. I'm gonna rotate everything to the bottom and just start mating everything to the bottom just to speed things up a little bit. So I'm just mating, and you really should, for most of the pieces here, do two flushes and one mate. So I did one mate to all those, now I need to flush them. So I'll rotate so I can see everything. I'm gonna flush the sides to the sides. And I'm just trying to batch these so that I can kind of move a little faster. I try to just focus on each of the pieces and getting all the sides of those pieces lined up. And now I'll rotate to the other side. We have this and this. We have this guy back here and the side. And then we just need to do the backs of everything. And when you're building your actual thing, you wanna make sure that these are on the edges, not too far out, not too far in. It'll cause it to work much better if you do that. Uh, so I have the basic setup there. Uh, and that looks good. But now I need to add in the motor and the propeller. So I'm gonna place in uh, the motor here. So open that up and place that in. And I'm also gonna place in the propeller, which we have there. So everything looks all nice and good. I'm gonna go and constrain this thing. I want my propeller facing out of the back of my maglev. So I'm gonna flush this area here of it. I have to find a flat area. So I'm choosing that flat area. And then I'm gonna flush it with the back of this and apply it. Uh, it can still move up and down, it can still move left and right. So I need to find another flat area to flush with this side and this happens to be the only one I can do that with. So I'll flush that and when I take a look at my right hand side, you see that it's not lined up. So I'm gonna go in and just play with my offsets to see what happens. One is too much, so let's try a half. That's too little, we'll try 0.75, that's not enough, 0.85. Still not there, 0.9. I think that's pretty close, so I'll apply that. And I have that one on there, so now it can just move up and down. Once I have that up and down, uh, I need to glue it on there, but I can't use a mate constraint because mate only works on flat pieces and lines, and I don't have that here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go back to constraint, and then I wanna use a tangent constraint. So this guy right here, uh, we're gonna go in tangent. So I'll click on the circle and click on a flat section here and apply it and that will glue that down. The very last thing I need to do is insert the propeller on here. So I'm gonna to go to insert. Uh, I'm gonna click on the motor shaft, find the hole for the propeller here, click on that. So they have been mated together uh, and then I just need to make sure that it actually goes in. So try 0.25 and it's going the wrong way. So negative 0.25 and that looks great. We'll apply that and now my assembly is done. You can see that my Magla train looks nice. Everything's nice and smooth. We have it all set up and ready to go. And I'm going to save this at this point.
So I'll save that as an assembly. Now I have it ready to go and we can cover getting this onto a sheet with all the pieces and everything labeled and ready to go. We'll cover that in our next video.